Good morning on this crisp winter's morning for us here in South Africa. There is nothing like an African winter. For some, it's just a chilly summer day. And for others, as cold as it can get. Today, we warm our hearts with God's wisdom. And I would like to start off with a prayer I found with a devotion I did one morning. Listen to this prayer. God of welcome, you invite me into your family. I sit at your table and savor your word to me. Help me receive all the nourishment you have for me today. I want us to reflect this morning um, on a familiar story in scripture and it comes from John 4. And it is the story of where Jesus and his disciples went through Samaria on one of their travels. While the disciples had gone to get food in the town, Jesus met a Samaritan woman at the well. I'm just going to read to you verses 7 of John 4, where the story unfolds for us for today. It reads as follows. Soon a Samaritan woman came to draw water. And Jesus said to her, please give me a drink. Now, this is a scene of contradictions because Jesus is asking a Samaritan woman for a drink. Him being a Jew and her a Samaritan. And she is genuinely astonished by what is happening. This, of course, does not prevent Jesus from starting what we know is one of the most beautiful conversations in Scripture. He treats this woman with dignity instead of prejudice as she was so accustomed to. This causes her to become the first of her village to come to faith in Christ with many others following because of her testimony. She had accepted Jesus' invitation and his hospitality right there at the well. So how many Samaritans do we have around us who need the same hospitality that we have received from Jesus, inviting us to his table of grace, his invitation of forgiveness, grace and mercy? Does our hospitality display to others what we have received, like this woman when she went running back to the village and invited others to that same table that she had just been invited to? While studying this, I found something out that I did not know. And that is, in the ancient Middle Eastern culture, handing a cup of water to a stranger means welcoming them as a guest. So here Jesus is asking the Samaritan woman to welcome him, asking for permission to be her guest. Jesus has extended that same request to us and many of us have accepted And he has come to live in us through the Holy Spirit. When sharing this thought with others, I asked in our group what hospitality meant and looked like to them. And some very special stories were shared that day. Some told of a special mug that was kept just for them in a friend's home. Others about meals that was given to them out of the blue. Homes that were open for whenever someone needed. Tables of food always ready to share. Now Jesus' hospitality challenges us to always seek places to request to be a guest in order to share his love and tell others so that they too can accept this wonderful gift of accepting Jesus as their Lord and Saviour too. Every time we come and share in the Holy Communion, We're accepting Jesus' hospitality, which accepts us as we are, sinners redeemed by his blood, forgiven and set free. Then, as we leave the table of grace, our Lord's table, we say our prayers of thanksgiving, and we are told to go in peace and to tell others. But do we show the same hospitality to people around us? Do we ask if we could be guests in people's lives so that we can also share his story, our stories that he has rewritten? I sometimes wonder if our loved ones in our homes experience our hospitality, the love of Christ, or do they get the brunt of our day, our irritability of our life's loads? 
Let us be more aware of our responsibility to be more hospitable. Our mission of looking for places we can be guests in people's lives, in our families, at work, our friendship circles. This means we have to ask for a cup of water. So in other words, asking to be the guest to share the good news. Having plenty of friends and parties is not the same. We are to look to be the place where people can find the truth about Jesus, our Savior. Jesus, the one who wants to be the permanent guest in our hearts. Our hospitality needs to lead people to Christ. Not to be the cool place to hang out, but to find the way to eternal life through Jesus. Let us never forget Christ's hospitality to us. Knocking and asking for a cup of water from us so that we could invite him in. Giving us our own special place in his family. Preparing our home in heaven with him so that we can return that gift of hospitality to others by being as hospitable to others around us. This means those whose society has rejected and given up on too. No one is excluded from Christ's hospitality and should not be excluded from ours either. That Samaritan woman that stood there astonished by this Jew that came to her, not even knowing who he was in the first place. But as she stood there astonished, Jesus asked to be her guest. And as this hospitality was reached to those who were rejected, they too were included in the table of grace. May our hospitality reach those who have borne the brunt of rejection of life. May they too come to know Christ through our love and our acceptance. Come, let us pray. Dear Lord, I pray today for all those who are rejected, those who are persecuted, cast out and lonely. Lord, have mercy. Meet them with your love today and help me, help us to be compassionate, loving and hospitable towards all those we meet. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May today be filled with opportunities to ask for a cup of water so that we can be guests in the house of so many people. That table of grace, as we are invited through Christ's hospitality, let it move us to be as hospitable towards everyone we meet. Have a blessed week.